Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for some more Crusader Kings 2. I'm Elias Gelvin. So, where we last left off, uh, we were continuing our imperialism up the coast here. Yes, and you've uh, had the unfortunate thing where you died, and thus reset our truce. So, you know, we could, uh, could just go on to Ake right now. And, I mean, who's going to save him? The only one who has even a th remotely threatening number of troops with these guys, but we've already established the problem here. They, uh, I don't know, they actually have boats now. At least a few. They, they appear to have six boats. Yep, yep, they have a whole six boats. Okay, so short answer is no one's going to save them. Let's try again. Alright, alright, alright. We're just going to have to walk in and take that then, sir. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to say, but uh, it's tax time. And we require one duchy to be paid in full immediately. Alright, can I, can I get a hold of... No, I can't. Okay. Hey, I tried. <laughs> Uh, just have to wait for things to clear out, I suppose. Alright. We'll, we'll probably just have to gather everything here anyway. How many boats are we up to here anyway? Ooh, 41. Ooh. Yeah. The capital is throwing out a lot of boats these days, and it's still not up to full. Not anywhere close. Some good stuff. Hey. Loot. Let's go, let's go. Everyone on the boat now. Uh, wait, what? Um, you know what, I'm just, I'm, I will allow this, because I'm particularly interested to see what happens with this. Yep. That's a thing. I mean, I, I think it comes back around at some point, right? Alright. In other news today, uh, scientists have discovered some kind of quantum linking between these two provinces, very oddly. Most notably, only between these two provinces. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, the problem is this province. Oh, okay, that, that, that province is just fucked. Yeah. Got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Please begin landing procedures. Alright, you guys head up there. You guys head up there. Like, we're just breaking into army sizes roughly equivalent to those. Because their army is scattered all over the place. So, nobody really cares too much. Those are just the retinues. Which, I think every everything else can just kind of be dropped for now. We don't need it. How the hell do you have 2,500 troops? Okay, you're just hiring mercs hilariously enough with all your money. That's adorable. Alright. Group in. Okay. They appear to have completely done abandoned back at front. Uh, out of curiosity. Okay, no, you can't seem to... Okay, yeah, that's... 
That's just boats. Okay. Yep. Alright, everything is fine. Yeah, if you guys would stop, I'd be great. There we go. Okay. And if I don't do this, then they'll pick off, uh, like, 400 of our troops, which will be annoying. Good. And I guess you guys will head up here. Alright. And I suppose we can also drop our fleet levies. It's not like we'll need them. We have the sieges underway, and our opponent is muddling about trying to get whatever the hell they can done. Which is eh, pretty questionable. Aw. Cackletron died, sadly before the end of the war. I was kind of hoping that he would survive, but mostly just for another truce reset. Oh well. Council's discontent. We have 13 out of 8, which is a problem. Alright. Which, uh, which duchy did we have before? Ah, oh, yes, Bonnie. Right, right, right. So, I suppose. Uh, you got me. There. That fixes our problems. And otherwise, continue on. Okay. Okay. Everything is normal. Dedication or religious person notice around the realm. I'm apparently dedicated to religious pursuits, sure. Go after them, boys. Hunt them down and destroy them. Either way. He's getting slaughtered out there. I, I see. Tw 21 boats. Drop off, I assume, like 2,000 troops. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I should probably rescue our, our fleet then. I, I'm a rescue our retinue, then. I'm not quite sure why they've sent all of their soldiers out there, but they appear to have. That defense effect looks way more scary than it actually is. Like, these guys have, like, half of this shit's actually just mercs, for example. I mean, uh, there's those guys, but they have, like, two boats, so I'm not even going to worry about them. Anyway, withdraw from there. We're just gonna move along and we're gonna take the Duchy of Ake. All of it. Because then we just kinda win, regardless of what happens. Like they they, they appear to be just so sort of moving all their troops onto this island, which is amusing. So I have a better idea. Apparently they have 1,800 troops on that island. Oh, it's Olympics. And I see we have some dangerous factions. Seniority succession. Increased council power. And various miscellany. Though ultimately no one is too angered by the succession. Alright. Begin moving in. about finished. So is that. Cartini. Alright. Problem solved. You guys head up there. Suddenly 35% war score. Hey, it's you guys again. Acceptable. 
it's pretty good to have an alliance with them. They're, they're pretty nice people up there. I assume it's right now because they're scared of me, but I have no conquest intentions against them for like the next 50 years, so... Uh, the Empire of Vietnam left it. Good, I think. I, I guess that's... Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Alright. I'll just keep pushing along anyway. 25 boats. Oh, hey. It's a large number of their soldiers. Well, sure would be a shame if I finished off their capital. Hmm. Those in your realm who worship other gods. For example, it's known that your father... That far than Muani openly follows Buddhist faith. You sometimes wonder if the ancestors would think of your associations with these people. We are more alike than we are different. Um. No. Their heathen delusions do not interest me. Yeah, yeah we have a pile of reinforcements. Assuming they can even win. They are the retinue, after all, so they're pretty powerful. Though they don't have generals, so might have some troubles. But, doesn't matter. Alright. The Muist Reformation. The ancient Muist religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Wang Myolong of the of Go Kingdom. <laughs> Go Kingdom! <laughs> And the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Muist faith with codified rites, a holy scripture, and a strict church hierarchy under a single leader. They hope that the reformed Muist faith is better on to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. They are still barbarians. They are still barbarians. Alright. Well, either way, we're up to 55% and climbing. Because, as it turns out, it's just very easy to push through, uh all of their defenses when they sent, you know, how, how many troops over to some random island? Yeah. That nobody cares about. Like, I've kind of taken all their shit. Here. They have a single holding left here on the Ake Peninsula. Oh no, apparently they have another one here that I somehow never took. I don't know. We'll, we'll fix that. Anyway. Well, we'll fix this. It's okay. Because it doesn't exactly have any defenses either. There. 67%. Yeah, controls that case. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's under Nicobar. It's uh, an entirely different country now. That used to be part of them. But either way, we did just get taking more score, so like I said, now no matter what, we win. But it turns out you screw up enough, uh, and we just kind of win by default. Sure, let them in. Now, Krush. Oh god, right. You're fucking terrible at leading troops. And I already missed Cacletron. Uh, that said... Yeah, there we are. I was wondering how long it would take for uh, various factions to start popping up all over the goddamn place and actually have some organization to them. That said, I'm pretty confident we're fine. Alright, Garrison Siak. Oof. The hell's a supply limit around here? Ouch, that's pretty bad. 6k. Alright, well, I think the obvious option is to start splitting up our troops a little bit. Because I don't want to be caught across the straight crossing. That's jungle territory over there, easy defense, so shouldn't be a problem. Alright. This entire goddamn continent's plagued with consumption. The consumption is everywhere, man. 
Alright. Still have a few, uh, few more months to go until we officially will win this war. Like, we now have Ticking War Score that's outpacing their counter-sieging, so... It's not gonna be too long. Plus, I mean, how much more can they actually counter-siege? Not too much by the looks of it. Yeah. So it's not gonna be a big deal. So, we also have a pile of gold. I feel like I should uh, build that other monastic school, maybe. And, well, we have nearly enough for universities. A couple of those wouldn't suck. Aha, hmm. uh -huh. so he started to move his troops around trying to counter siege Ake. A wise move, technically speaking, but irrelevant nonetheless. You almost done there. Good. You'll put an end to them. Uh, okay. Hari Punjaya has joined in. I see, not for defensive fact reasons, they're just here because of a uh, holy war. Alright, I guess I have to care now, don't I? Ah, dear. Because that's getting concerning. In that they might just fire a civil war, which would be really bad. I'd really personally like to avoid having a civil war fire right now, you know? That said, considering the amount of shit I got, uh, that's about to pop here, we might have just won the war. Who knows? Move into Melkala as well. Salt walls. I shouldn't have done that. I, I kind of want to do it on the town, but I don't know why I clicked it that early. Let me guess, you're in a faction. Six opinion of me. Anywhere? There you are. Yeah. Uh. So. Threaten. You will live to regret this. Yes. Uh huh. Well, either way, end this, would you? Thank you. Because we're going to lose that battle. So I'm just going to force through demands. Much easier that way. Alright, and everyone, say hello to Ake, our lovely new duchy. Comes complete with all the nothings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, get rid of that. Drop the fleets. And. Yeah. The Srive Johnny Empire just keeps getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Hello, young child. I really feel like I probably should not grant my children any more land. It's already pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh wait, I need to actually usurp this slash great this. Good. The Sword of the Supreme. Jesus Christ. Uh the Sword of the Blank is now just our family. This house sword. Yeah. That should just become our thing. Alright. Now, you. Back to work in Banka. Uh, you, Grand Land of Title. Kishta of Ake. Done. 
So we have a new lovely duchy. I'm sure you'll have fun sorting that out. Put it all together now. Declined. Declined. Alright. Not bad. Nice, uh, nice capital there. Yeah. Yep. How the hell he maintains any form of power, I don't know, but he does. You, you'd think by now independence factions would be all over the place, but no. Alright. And since we're past 1919... These provinces have really come into their worth. Very valuable. Trade route. Hmm. That expires soon. I guess the former owner of it did that event chain. Okay. So. Economy. Actually pretty good around here. Alright. Seniority succession faction is becoming a problem. Mm -hmm. Bring him down. Or he is a powerful adversary. Must be cautious of him. Yeah. Sooner or later, I am going to. Succession by senior for Aren't you refused? Force are just demand. Uh, I mean, over my dead body is pretty accurate. Over my goddamn dead body. Seems about accurate. 161 is kind of concerning. But, uh, over my dead body. Yeah. Alright. Well, initial, uh, initial results are good, because on this island here we have 4,100, easily enough to suppress him here. On this island we have 1,700, which might be enough. And this island I don't actually think matters. Okay. Well, at least now we know what happens next episode. Give you a hint, we have to deal with shit. Also, we have 99% threat. <laughs> if only I gave a crap. Yeah, the Vietnamese Empire is actually uh, in defensive pact against me. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. Should be afraid of the Tang, though. The Tang, man. Okay. And someday I promise we'll come get these guys. But we have yet another civil war to deal with. This tends to be the case around here. Our realm has never exactly been all that stable. So, a lot of work ahead of us. Either way, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.